I'm Adrian Gobriel, and Richard Southern joins us. Richard, how are you doing? I'm good, Adrian. It's, um, it's the Leaf home opener. I know you're excited about this as a uh, Leaf fan, right? <laughs> I want to get home tonight, sit down, watch the game. It's going to be a good I time. I know you do. It should and, be and a you, fun you, you, uh, Yes, I know. Sorry, we got a bit of a delay here. I'm talking over you. I'm terribly rude, Adrian. But I was going to point out, when you watch the Leafs, <laughs> they guzzle the, the sports drinks on the bench, right? You know, the Gatorade and all that stuff, don't they? They do, yeah. You know, you, you, you're playing a game, you're sweaty, you're hot, you know, you need a drink. And there is a pot company that's getting in on the beverage industry as well. So the Leafs could be reaching for a, a, a glass of cannabis. I'm not even joking, Adrian. <laughs> this is what could happen here. So Canopy Grow, the biggest cannabis company in Canada, it bought today BioSteel, which is a maker of sports drinks. You actually see a lot of the athletes drink the, the BioSteel. It's a pink sugar-free drink. So what this does, it gives Canopy an entrance uh, into this uh, sports drink market, and what they're going to come out with is CBD-infused sports drinks. Now, this is a, a part of the cannabis plant. It doesn't get you high, Adrian, but some people think it alleviates health problems like inflammation and pain, things athletes uh, care about. So uh, Canopy, the CEO, telling us here at 680 News today that they're going to come out with these drinks in the next year or two. And again, you can see the Maple Leafs uh, drinking CBD uh, maybe next season. I'm sure. I'm wondering if the NHL will let their players drink <laughs> CBD on the bench. Well, that's another question altogether. It might make them a bit more sluggish, so who knows, Adrian? I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> hey, but you know, it could also help them. You can take any edge, uh, any edge you can. <laughs> Anything you uh, can get. From one multi-million, one, one multi-million dollar industry to another, it sounds like Microsoft is trying to take a bite out of Apple's game when it comes to the earbud industry. Yeah, we're looking at what Microsoft is coming out with here. They are called the Surface Earbuds, Adrian. Yes, you can listen to music with them, but they apparently do a lot more. They understand 60 different languages. So they translate in real time when you're talking to someone that speaks a different language, which is quite something. You can swipe through PowerPoint presentations by touching them. So they interact with the office software. Uh, you can uh, even connect, apparently, to uh, Outlook and use it to operate your uh, email inbox. They're not discreet, as you can see. They're very obvious, very uh, bulbous in the ear, and they're not cheap, Adrian, at $329 uh, bucks Canadian. You know, you see people walking around with these wireless earphones now, and you don't know if they're talking to themselves or they're talking to someone else. It's, uh, it's a weird situation, Adrian. <laughs> I love it. People walking down the street, everyone's talking to themselves these days. Like, is that guy crazy or is he on the phone? I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now, sometimes when you're at the airport, you're left talking to yourself because lineups at security are so long. Now, Pearson is looking at some brand new technology. Yeah, AI coming to YYZ. Pearson is going to use artificial intelligence to detect weapons. Uh, before they get on the plane, hopefully, what they're going to do here, uh, they're going to take radar images of passengers and then, using artificial intelligence, they'll analyze those images to look for signs of a weapon in a bag or under clothing. The company behind this is called Hexwave. Of course, there are all sorts of privacy concerns here. The company, though, contends the technology is not able to recognize face facial features and therefore doesn't pose a privacy risk. Others, though, might be worried about getting a radar image of them taken without uh, perhaps they, them realizing it, Adrian. So there are implications, privacy wow. uh, implications there. Sounds interesting. Now, Richard, quickly, you've got a couple updates on gas prices and a few other stories you're going to bring us ahead on City News. Uh, that's right. Price of gas, it is going up one cent at midnight tonight. And coming up just after 6.30, Adrian, speaking of the Leafs, we're looking at exactly what it's going to cost to go to the Leaf game tonight and exactly what the odds are for the buds in Vegas coming up on City News.